no. <laughs> Well, yeah, we got to. I have to look at that. Adding to my staff, uh, we lose two coaches, and uh, since that, uh, Coach Monty Williams uh, is in New Orleans, and Coach Luke won't be returning, so I have to look at that. When do you hope to fill that? I got plenty of time to do that, and that's something that uh, I'm looking at. So, would you say you're not in any kind of rush or any kind of hurry? We're working on it. Nate, is Caleb going to coach your summer league team? Yes. When do you guys expect to set the summer league roster? Well, that's, we have to do that after the draft. Uh, you'll look at uh, who we uh, are drafting, and then uh, you know guys that are available. So that normally happens uh, after the draft. You always like putting faces or seeing the faces of these kids as they come through after watching on video. Uh, what did you like about today? Well, I've learned you know over the years that uh, you really rely on your scouts. So, you know, Mike, Chad, uh, Kevin, those guys who have seen these guys uh, in live action, you know, four or five times, uh, they have a better feel. You know, it's an opportunity for the coaches to kind of measure these guys and look at them face to face and take them through interviews. But it's very difficult to get a read on, uh, you know, what the guys are all about in uh, three on three situations and, you know, some of the things that we could do. Do you share their frustration that it's hard to get players to come in when you're holding picks in the 20? Well, I think it's just hard to get players in, uh, period, with the way uh, the draft has gone the last few years and the control that the agents have. Uh, you know, a lot of times the agents have uh, multiple players that they don't want to see certain guys go up against. So it's been difficult over the years for uh, teams to uh, get players in and uh, so that's why it's very important that your scouts uh, get a good look at these guys in the season. Nate, when it comes to replacing uh, Monty and making a change in the coaching staff, are you looking for offensive coaches, defensive coaches, or any type of change in, in that aspect? Well, I have to look at my uh, entire roster because the roster, you know, as far as the coaching staff that I came here with, uh, you know, two of those guys are gone, and you need a balance. You need a balance of. Uh, to make sure that you have the things you need uh, to put this team in the best position to win. And uh, Luke was a big part of why I came here. And, uh, you know, having him on the sidelines, we no longer uh, have that. Monty Williams was a big part of uh, filling the staff. And you got to have that balance. So that's what I'll be looking for. Does this start to represent a change for you guys, just maybe the next step when it comes to the coaching staff and where this team's going? Well, there's going to be a change. Two of our guys are gone, you know, so uh, you can't avoid that. Can you I'm confirm how many new coaches you will be bringing? No. No. Obviously, people leave for their own reasons, obviously, look for help, but Monty had a great opportunity. Is it safe to say that if they had never left, you wouldn't be making a change? Yeah, it's safe to say that. Uh, when it comes to Luke, what's the latest you've heard on him and just where he's at? Well, you know, he's doing okay, and uh, I've been in contact with him, uh, you know, but the chances of uh, him returning uh, this season, we don't think that's going to happen. Can you comment on Coach Dean's status on this? No. Uh, Coach Dean is under contract, as uh, is Coach Pronto.